Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Yesterday I came across this article. And it's about this new thing that the DC Universe is about to put out. It's, um, what it says here is DC announces original DC Universe Infinite comic book. So I was like, well, <laughs> what the fuck is this? So here we go. Um... DC announces original DC Universe Infinite Comic Book series, Let Them Live. Lost stories from the DC archives arrive on DC Universe Infinite beginning February 2nd. Shit, that means that sh it just happened uh, a couple of days ago. Okay. Debuting on DC's ultimate fan destination, DC Universe Infinite, Let Them Live, Resurrects. Unpublished stories from DC Vaults paired with new content by screenwriter Elliot Kalan. Not sure who Elliot Kalan is. Alright, who's that? Harley Quinn? Deadshot. And that's Ambush Bug. My brother used to collect Ambush Bug. That's why I know it's him. Let Them Live, a new series featuring DC's previously unpublished. How many times are they going to fucking say that? Ah, these people here. You know, it's funny because they keep saying how these articles, when they're written, they get paid by the letter. And, I, and I'm and i seeing the same shit they say three or four times before they even tell us what the fuck is really going on with any of this shit. Garbage tier, man. Garbage tier. A new series featuring deep... <laughs> Let them live. Let them live. A new series... Featuring DC's previously unpublished comic book stories will now be made available for DC fans. Issues of Let Them Live will debut on DC's Infinite beginning February 2nd. An added bonus for the subscription to DC's Ultimate Fan Destination on a bi-weekly basis. Let Them Live is DC's first original title to debut on DC Universe Infinite. The first three issues of Let Them Live are Let Them Live 1. A Suicide Squad story by Jim Zub, Tradmore, Felipe, and whoever else. Okay, and then the second story is about Nightwing. The third one's about Batman. All right, because they're all written by the same motherfucker. So why do we have to repeat the same shit? You see what I'm saying? A fictional narrative featuring DC's Ambush Bug working as the night janitor at the DC offices, written by Elliot Kalan. See, and... Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Daily Show, Spider-Man, and The X-Men will frame each issue. One of DC's few fourth wall breaking characters, Ambush Bug, will introduce each story from a vault of unpublished DC comics and provide a meta-narrative for fans to react to. With writer Elliot Kalan and artist Mike Norton and Marissa Luis at the helm, DC will give readers a glimpse into some of the untold, soon-to-be-told stories of DC's infinite universe. All right, all right, all right. DC Universe Infinite is the primary destination for fans to discover new comics every day. From popular recent releases to more tales from deep in the archive vaults. Rescued from the wear and tear of time and digitized for new readers to enjoy 85 years later, subscribers also gain access to curated showcase collections and friendly get-to-know entry points to help discover new characters. DC Universe is available for download on web, Android, and iOS devices. All right, so um, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> this is cool. If some shit like this is cool, if you're doing YouTube videos or you're on the go a lot and you don't want to fucking like take any part of your collection with you wherever you go and you want something to read at all times, then this is what you get this for. Or, better yet, if you have a child that loves comic books, for real, because there they're, they are kids, teenagers that love comic books, they can't get enough of it, and you just don't have a collection like this to sit in front of them so they can check out, then you get something like this. Other than that, me, myself, I wouldn't fuck with this. Why? You know, I'm a collector. I'd get my ass up and I do what I'm about to show y'all pretty soon. I'm, I got a video coming up for what I'm saying. Strictly for y'all. I love y'all. But uh, 
I'd rather go get the books myself. I'd rather just collect them. I'd rather just collect them and just have my own books. You know, they talk about tales rescued from uh, deep in the archives and uh, rescued from the wear and tear of time. I fuck all that. I'd rather have my comic books. I don't. I don't want nothing digitized or digitalized. I don't want none of that shit, man. Not at all. I'm a collector, tried and true, and I'd rather have. If if I can't feel the paper, I don't even want. I don't even fucking want it. You know, because I have comicsology, so it's cool to read. You know, all this online comic book shit, but. <laughs> to be real with y'all, man, that shit is just not the same. Plus, at the end, how much is it worth? Yeah, you don't put all your money into this fucking DC Infinite digitized comic book shit for your phone and your tablet and iOS and your computer and all this other shit. I say it's cool for a few things, but if I'm going to read some comic books, I want my own shit. But like I say, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hell, I know I, I know I got away from the point of it. Hey, you know that if you get with DC Universe uh, Infinite, then look, you get all this new content. But, you know, me, I'm just to the point where I'm like, you know, fuck it. If you can't give me these uh, unpublished stories, if you can't give it to me in comic book form, I just don't want it. So, but to East his own, it's my own opinion. And you're always welcome to let me know yours in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.